Cambridge University, England, February 1913. Mathematics professor Godfrey H. Hardy receives a letter containing complex mathematical theorems and formulas from 26-year-old Srinivasa Ramanujan of India. The distinguished scholar is stunned by what he reads. Hardy looks at these theorems and says, my God, we've never seen anything like this. This is mathematics of the highest order. It's so convoluted and complex that nobody could have come up with this by their imagination. There has to be something here. An acknowledged genius and mathematical prodigy since childhood, Ramanujan was devoutly religious and often claimed his breakthroughs were communicated to him in his dreams by the Hindu goddess Namagiri. In the decades since, his theorems have proved to be invaluable to those working in cutting-edge fields like string theory. All of the science that we need to eventually be able to create portals, stargate travel, hyperdimensional access mechanisms, levitation, teleportation, it all needs a mathematical foundation. And the closest that we have right now is the Ramayanan equations that we've been able to decipher so far, which came to him directly from this goddess who appeared to him in dreams. Could Ramanujan have been telepathically receiving important information that might enable humans to build a portal or stargate to other dimensions or alien worlds? If so, why? What is the ultimate purpose of what some believe to be alien communications?